All right, hey, Mike here. So this is the Quick Pitch VSL Pro. It's a chat GPT-4 prompt, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to come up with a quick pitch, as the name suggests, and you also will have a video sales letter layout, a script, a slide deck, and I'm even gonna show you how to put in images and everything that you need to create a quick, visual, audio-based, beautiful, pitch that you can use to sell just about whatever you want. So what you'll have to do is you're going to have to go down here. You're going to use this prompt. I'm going to literally take you through every single step of this. So there's no questions asked of what to do. And then you're just going to come down here and you're going to edit this red part. And then we're going to literally take this entire prompt and just drop it into chat GPT. Then once we get the answer back, then we're going to take this next prompt and we're going to use this to create the slide deck. It's going to create presenter notes so you know verbatim what to say in the actual VSL video. And then we're going to also use these. Uh, it's going to give us search phrases back that we can use with Pexels, which is a free stock photo uh well, it's where you get stock photos that you can use for images inside of the VSL presentation because the whole thing is we've got to get people to feel. We've got to get people to have emotion attached to what's going on. And so images help do that. And then you can also, of course, use your own images. That's the best option if you have an authentic image that you can use. Or it's going to give us a prompt because ChatGPT4 can also create images for us as well. And then... What you'll want to do is once you get that all completed, and I'm just gonna create it here in Google Slides, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this uh, through Google Slides. Now, I prefer using Keynote just because I'm a Mac user. You can use PowerPoint, you can use whatever you want. All I know is Google Slides is, is free to everyone. You just go to Google and type in Google Slides, and there you have it. So. Let's uh, go through this, and when you get done, you're going to have a quick pitch, VSL, ready to go, and you can practice this thing. I would say you need to practice this a minimum of three times. If you prepare, you'll make more money and get more results. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So this is the start of the prompt. You would, you'd start here, and you would you know select it all the way down to where it says, end of first prompt. So you would select all of this and then you would copy it and you would paste it right in here. As you can see up here, it says chat GPT-4. You would paste that right into here. But before we can do that, we need to be able to actually change what's in the red here. Now, I just um, use this down below uh, this audience of new mothers or whatever, uh, just because I wanted it to be something completely outside of making money online, uh, because everybody thinks that that's the only way a lot of times. So um, you could put whatever, whoever your audience is, and then what is the problem that they have, okay? And then what is uh, experience consequences? So, you know, what are they worried about? You know, what is going on because of this problem? And then solve the problem. So obviously look better than before. And then old path, spend a bunch of hours in the gym, restrictive diets, root of the problem, the eating schedule, the new path, this intermittent fasting because da 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 da. Here's why the body, so explain why the new path works. And then what are the three characteristics of the person? So um, 20 pounds overweight, hate looking in the mirror, hate restrictive diets. Uh, they want to eat their favorite foods. Um, they're not willing to go on a body diet and you want to look good for your husband or wife, whatever. And then three uh, things for quick wins. Obviously, it wouldn't be <laughs> if you're having a baby. Uh, and then three things for the quick wins. What will they get? They get access to an app. Uh, they get a customized schedule for this. And they're going to give them a full set of recipes. Okay? And then what do you want them to do at the end of the pitch? Book a call. Buy now. Go here. Do this. Whatever it is. And then that's it. So you're going to replace everything in the red. So let's just take the example here. So I'm just going to put my cursor here and then I'm going to hold down shift and hit it right here. And that just selects everything. And then I can do command C to copy. I can come over here to chat GPT and I can press command V to paste or control C and control V if you're using a PC. 
and then simply just hit enter. So what it's going to do now is it took out all this beginner stuff in the variables as we told it to do, and now it's creating this script. So you can go in here and you can adjust this as you see fit, but it's, it's creating this script right now, and we told it to write the Quick Pitch Pro script in the style of today's average person's understanding, because that's important, uh, using the wisdom of the world's greatest copywriters and sales experts. And we told it to not use quotation marks. Uh, we said to feel free to change the wording so it's not verbatim, but make sure all the variables are included in the Instant Quick Pitch Pro script. So that's what it's doing. It's, it, it went down here and it's, it's doing all that. So here is this script. Okay, and you can read through that. I'm not going to, but it's a good script. It'll work. I promise you, if you kept repeating this over and over to that audience, you are going to see that it will get you some action. So now, what we want to do is we want to go back here to the uh, prompt, and it says down here, as I put, uh, after you get the answers back from the prompt that we just got, okay, then what you want to do is you want to insert this new prompt. So we're going to now take this all the way up to here. You don't want to put next prompt. You want to copy that, command C or control C. And then we go back over here and we want to paste this right afterwards. So command V or control V if you're on PC and let's hit enter. So now what it's going to do is it's going to put this into a slide deck format that would work well as a video sales letter. And then it's giving you the presenter notes. It's also giving you an uh, image search phrase that you can either stick into uh, Pexels or that you can stick into ChatGPT4 to create this image. Or it even gives you an idea of what to put in there uh, as well. You know, if you were going to think of what, maybe an authentic image that you have. So it's giving us the, um, here, here it is, it's giving us the presenter notes and then the image to put on the page. Okay. And, you know, there's times when I go to create this and I, I don't suggest you, you know, changing this a lot, but, you, you know, you can come in here and as I put in here, use the above script to create the presenter notes. Okay, perfect. But include a search phrase that uh, I could use with Pexels or ChatGPT4. That's great. And then you could even add underneath this, you could say, and give me uh, three bullet points for the slide. So you can do that as well so that you could have an image and the bullet points on there. Okay, so, um, you know, it gave us 12 slides here and it told us what to, um, what to do, you know, to put each one of these in here. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna just show you how you can, you can edit this uh, to your liking. So I can come back up here to this prompt and I can click this here and I can also say, okay, this is how you work with this. I can also say include Include three bullet points that I can add to each slide to help the viewer better understand what is being presented on each slide. If I hit this again now, it's going to rebuild this uh, down below here. So here we go. Okay. Introduction to the new mom's challenge. So that's slide one. And then this goes down in the presenter notes and then search phrase, new mother looking thoughtful, and then bullet points. Um, these are the bullet points, right? So now you can add these bullet points to each of the pages. So I'll just go ahead and I'm going to include this into uh, the prompt back here on this page. So let's go down here and you can decide how you want to work with that. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so that is that prompt. Now, let's see how we're gonna work with this, okay? So we can take each one of these slides, slide one, slide two, slide three, four, and it's, it's continuing on, okay? So this is really awesome. It's just saving you a ton of time. You're gonna have a natural framework that's gonna work well, and you can practice this over and over and over again. Now, what's great for this is I have this uh, program that I, I've been t talking about and teaching where you do this quick profit weekly workshop. Uh, my goal in 2024 going forward is I want to create uh, a weekly workshop or do a live presentation each week in the, in the year of 2024. So that's 52 uh, live workshops. 
you can use this script right here to create those weekly workshops. And you know, you, you when you're doing these, you're going to also have um, you're going to have ad lib and fill in as you do it. It just comes natural when you're creating things like this. But I encourage you to practice this, you know, at least three times. The more you prepare with this, and the more you run through it and get 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 it out and try it, the better it's going to be for you. So I'll just give you an example of how you can do uh, maybe these first couple slides here. So um, the search phrase, that's how we're going to get the image. Here's the bullet points and then the presenter notes. And then this is going to be the top of uh, each of the slides. OK, so let's I'm going to pull up Google Slides here. We're going to get a blank presentation and I'm just going to keep it simple. Now, you can take these presentations and, and make them more um, you know, your style or whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to keep this simple for the, for the sake of um, creating and time. Okay. I actually tend to like the dark theme more. So let's just keep it simple here. I'm just going to add some text. Okay. So you just kind of draw a box where you want some text and then it's pretty simple. So you're going to come up here to chat GPT. We're going to take uh, these bullet points right here and we are going to add that to here okay and then if you if you just select all of this because it's going to bring that see how it's like looks like chat gpt if you bring it over here and click clear formatting it'll do that and then i need to make it so that we can see it so let's let's make this uh white okay and then you can take this and adjust it so where it fits good and then see where i make those little crosshairs you can take that and you can drag it over and there's alignment tools just like so and then I can add another text box up here and we'll put the title here. So let's go back over to ChatGPT. We can go introduction to the new mom's challenge and come back over here. We can, and then we can select all command A or control A, and then we can clear the formatting. We can come over here. We can make this white. I tend to like to bold and then we can adjust the size so that it you know, fits our fancy. And I would probably just align it in the center. And then I, I like to align it in the middle like that. Click away. I can click on it and move this up like so. And then take that back out here. Okay, perfect. So then I'll use the alignment tools. I'll grab it like so. And then I'll use the alignment. There's the middle. Maybe come down a little bit like this. And then let's go find an image to stick here on the screen. So uh, we'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll show you both versions of how this looks. So new mother looking thoughtful. So I'll copy that. I can come over here to Pexels and I can just see what they got. So paste it in there. Maybe we can find an image here. Okay. Um, let's see. Not seeing anything too good. All right. Um, borderline. Okay. That might work borderline. Um, but I'm not really impressed. Okay. So we could do maybe just type in new mother and see what that looks like. Okay. Not really feeling anything here. Okay. I'm not seeing a lot. Okay. So then what we'll do is we'll try chat GPT. We'll see what it has to say. So we'll take this, copy it, and then come down here to ChatGPT. We're in ChatGPT4, and I'll say, create this image. And then I'll put colon, and I'll paste that in there. And let's see what it gives us. There we go. I was like, where did it go? So now it's creating this image. What's nice about when it creates an image like this is it's the only image like that. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about copywriting issues as well. Now, ChatGPT4, yeah, you do have to pay for it. I don't know. It's like 20 bucks or something. But it's if you're doing this and you're serious about it, I just don't know, you know why you wouldn't. It's just a no-brainer, you know? Pretty good, right? So there you go. So you could take an image like this. So what you could do is you could download it here. Or you can right-click and it'll highlight it. Click away. Right-click again copy the image, come over here to your presentation, 
and paste it in there. Look at that. So now you've got this image. Look how much that adds to this slide, okay? So now this is too close. I wanna move this up here, okay? And then I wanna take this and I wanna move it here. Now this is talking about struggling to lose baby weight. This gal here doesn't look very fat, okay? <laughs> Just to keep it candid and blunt. So maybe on this, uh, create this image, new mother looking thought new mother um <laughs> we'll see what happens here new mother uh that is over overweight because of pregnancy looking thoughtful okay <laughs> so let's just see what we get here hopefully it's uh hopefully it's okay so we'll wait for that um and then I want to show you on the presenter notes. So see this here down here. It's, uh, let me get the pin out here so you're able to see for sure. Right down here, you can see it says click to add speaker notes. So this is where you can add speaker notes and this will help you stay uh, pretty efficient with what you're doing. So you can grab this and move this up a little bit. And then these speaker notes down here, remember ChatGPT gave us those. Let's uh, let's see, encounter, da, 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 da. okay. Well, let's not encounter those, let's do this again. There we go, creating image, okay. So let's come back up here to slide one and we put these presenter notes down here. And again, you can, you can slightly tr you know, tweak these, don't get too far away from what it gave you if you're, if you're really new to this. Um, if you paste, if you, okay, so if you paste this down here and you go command shift V, it'll paste it without the chat GPT thing, okay? So, or control shift V, V as in Victor, if you're on PC, and that will, um, you know, that'll put these down here. And then you can even edit this down here to where it's a little bit bigger for you to see. Um, and then sometimes what I like to do is I'll even put some spaces like this, the way I say it. That's why it's important for you to go through it because you, you might be like, hey there new moms, you know, today I want to address a common concern many of you might face post-pregnancy. And that is the change in your body and the struggle to lose baby weight. So you see how I, I added those natural pauses in there? So I might go like this and then like this because it helps me the way I talk. So, hey there, new moms. Today, I want to address the common. Uh, to, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Today, I want to address a common concern many of you face post-pregnancy. Okay, so that's that's a little. See how I'm doing this. So this is how you can break this up. So now, what I'll do, and sometimes I like to uh, center this as well. It makes it easier for me to see it when I'm reading it. But now I can go over this slide like this, and. You can edit this and crop this out. Like typically what I do when I use presenter notes is I will create, I will copy that. I like using screen flow for this particular thing. Uh, right now I'm using loom, which you can absolutely use loom, but, um, I like to use, uh, uh, screen flow because then I can go back in there and I can crop this down where they don't even see the presenter notes and it looks really good. And so I'll look at the slide and I like, how I've got my camera set up on the right side of my computer because that, and I put it like that on purpose because then when I'm looking at the slide, it looks like I'm looking at the slide with them. So it, it creates a very uh, unique look. So, hey there, new moms. You know, today I want to address a common concern. Many of you face post pregnancy. So that didn't work. Okay. I want to, this is all, this has got to be together now. Okay. So let's see, uh, today I wanna to address a common concern many of you face post-pregnancy, the change in your body and the struggle to lose the baby weight. So I just leave this on here. I don't worry about uh, having to like explain that to them. You could space this out, I think here, let's go like this. See if we can uh, add a space after list item, there we go. So that'll space it out just a little bit. And that looks really clean. Let's see what ChatGPT gave us. Hopefully it's nothing scary down here. Oh God. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, I don't know if that's the one we want to use. I think we'll just leave that other one on there for right now, but you get the point. Okay. Sometimes this stuff will crack you up. 
All right, so then let's do one more slide so you can see how to add another slide. So what I do is, and you can come up here and name your presentation, uh, like in this case, New Moms uh, Challenge, okay? Uh, and then on the slide, I just come over here and I right click and I just uh, duplicate slide. You see that? Let me get me out of the way here. So right click, duplicate slide. Okay, so if I duplicate it, it just gives me the same slide. And now what I want to do is I want to come over here and understanding the problem. That's the that's the next slide. So we could come in here and put, and you can put whatever you want. This is just a guardrail here, okay? Understanding the problem, okay? And then we can come in here. Let me expand this a little bit. There we go. So let's put in what it has for the second one. Okay. And again, when you're giving this presentation, if it triggers you to say something that's very valuable to them, whoops, control Z, I'm going to go command shift V and it put it in there. Uh, see how it, it modeled the, the existing format. Okay. So there's this, you can always adjust it on the screen. We'll put it right on the, I want it in the middle the way it, there we go right there. That's where it says it's the middle. Okay. All right, so now we're going to remove this image. We're going to put a new image in there. And this one says, worried new mother looking in the mirror. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to put, uh, we'll see what ChatGPT does for us here. So create this image. Um, paste, worried new mother overweight looking at mirror oh god so let's see what it get. let's see what it gives us uh, while it's creating that let's go put the presenter notes in there okay so here's the presenter notes and let's just drop those in there while we're waiting all right so again command shift v or if you're using a pc control shift v it'll just maintain the formatting that was already there so it doesn't put the um chat gpt background and all that stuff in there from the text okay so you've brought a new life into the world which is beautiful but now when you look in the mirror you might feel like you've sacrificed your looks it's a feeling many new mothers share okay <laughs> so this is cool right so it's it's they're going to see what's on the screen here chat gpt is going to hopefully give us a good image Oh God, let's try this again. Let's see what it says. Uh, somebody inside of our build lab group, I think it was Bajan, he said if you click on it and click this eye over here, you can see the prompt that it used to create your image. So you can copy this and you can adjust it uh, so that it makes sense. So I thought that that was a neat little tip. Let's see what this one gives us. Okay, so whenever it does that, what I do is I just grab this again. Let me take, um, I'll either click it again like this and try again. And if it does it a third time, then I'll just open up another window up here. Like I'll open up a new tab, open up chat GPT four again, and then I'll post that image, uh, prompt in there to try to get that image. So let's see what it does this time. Okay. It just takes a little bit. Um, but I just, I really love using chat GPT because it doesn't, uh, Ooh, that's solid. Now, if you don't want it to be square like that, you can always say to the image, you can say, create this image and then, uh, or create, you can always put create a, uh, 16 by nine image. So that'll be more like a horizontal, like the size of a YouTube video looking size. Okay. So, but I'm not going to do that because I really like this one. So right click, copy. This is fantastic. Okay. Um, I almost like this a lot for the first slide, but let's, we're just, you know, you can adjust this. This is the creative uh, ability you'll have to create this stuff. But look at this. I mean, this is fantastic, right? So now you're doing this and you're moving on to the next slide and then you go through and you present this 
and you just keep doing that over and over till you get done. Then you practice the slides, then you put it on the page and you make sure that they have a very clear path to go by what it is that you're selling. And then you start using the scientific method of testing things, right? And you're trying to find out uh, what can you, what can you adjust, right? And you keep working on it and we'll, you know, talk about that more inside of the group. But uh, I just wanted to give you this. Hope this helps. Get to work. Create a bunch. Listen, the best way to get good at something is practicing it. So practicing creating a bunch of these different types of things. Okay, in the time that you have when you're working on things, if you know what you're selling, would you think you would be better if you just created one slide deck that was presenting your uh, offer? Or what if you did 10 of them and you practiced all of them three times and you found out which one worked the best? What do you think would be better when it came down to it to enhance your ability to earn online? Okay, so don't let the obvious be, be something that you overlook. So do this, create this, keep, look how simple I'm keeping it. You can always go back, right, and, and, and do this um, over and over again. You can adjust this. And then the way I would record it is I would record it just as it is. And I would use ScreenFlow because then I can come in and I can crop this out. Okay. So, or it, or it doesn't even matter, right? You can have even the script down here below. It does not matter. Please understand that. They're, they're looking to you to get these results, right? And, um, you know, just don't overthink things. Just get it done, and then you can always adjust things. You can always go back and fix it. All right? So good luck with this. I'd love to see. Uh, please post some of your presentations into the group, into the community, so we can all, you know, give us, we'll give you the feedback. We'll say, hey, I liked it, but, or, you know, and, you know, don't get upset about that. Be glad that you have a community that cares enough to give you the feedback so that you can adjust these things. Okay. All right. You got this.